Good morning, my name is Spring Shank. This is the first moments of coming into teaching in Penarjal Area High School. I teach 10th grade, 11th grade, I teach media, I teach journalism, and all of this is really made possible by my education at Lehigh. Uh, it's a super fun program. It's been about four years, and I'm in the last couple months, actually, of my internship. So today is gonna be a busy day. We got up at 4.45, got ready, got the kids out the door. Uh, now we're ready for meetings and class and just a regular everyday Wednesday. Um, it's going to be a great day. It always is. So that just concluded homeroom. Um, before homeroom and the morning is probably the busiest parts of my day. As soon as I get in, I try to meet with as many teachers as possible to see how I can help or what they might need. Today that included some data. I talked to a teacher for a little bit about academic integrity and how to handle cheating, specifically in an AP course. Uh, then I moved down into homeroom. Um, our homeroom students get here at seven o'clock. They get here early, they're dedicated, they're excited, just so they can produce and morning announcements, the TV shows. Welcome to journalism. We have about 15 kids in the room today. We're going to print today, so we're finishing a couple pages. This process is mostly digital. We send to a company in Florida. In about four days, they'll send us our paper. We try to print at least once a month. Our next issue will be senior focus, the last issue of the year, so the kids are really focused on what those stories will look like and how to manage that. So that's second period. This is the first time Penarjal School District has had a media production course. And so I have 15 kids in this class. They work on all sorts of videos. We really leave this up to them. In terms of their First Amendment, we let them produce, make, and say whatever they'd like as long as they have the artistic ability to go forward. In a couple minutes, I'll rush out of school and I'll actually pick up my kids from daycare. Um, tonight, they'll go back to my house for a little bit. So they're with a sitter for an extended period of time until my husband gets home from work. And then I'll make my way to Lehigh, one of my favorite parts of the week, uh, just spending time with other professionals and getting ideas of what's happening in other schools. <music> One of my favorite parts of being a teacher that I'm actually a little bit worried about leaving for administration is watching the success of students. You get four years with them. I don't think there's a day that I don't want to go to school. I just, I love working. I love going to school. I love being there. I love every part that has to do with all of it, the good and the bad together. I think right now that is my goal, eventually to be a principal, um, to run a school. I think the reason why I began my program at Lehigh was each day I can affect children's lives, but I can only change kids individually. I can't change on the wide scope. And if I want to do greater things or have the most amount of effect on the largest amount of people, I believe that that means uh, educational administration, moving up so that you have more decisions on resources and policy and just the whole bigger picture. What did you do with the eggs at school today? I used half of them for dying and then I ate them. <laughs> you got to have the other two as snack? Good. It's a great way to use hard boiled eggs. Did Mrs. Dennis's classroom smell like eggs all day then? No. How was music today? So we're 
we're on the way to class. Uh, the unfortunate part about Wednesdays is I only get a couple minutes with my sons, but in the end, I think it's worth it. One of the big parts for me about why I chose Lehigh, um, actually one of the smartest people I ever ran into was going to Lehigh for his doctorate. And just how he shaped me in terms of leadership and excitement about learning is the reason why I chose Lehigh. I did my undergrad in another Lehigh Valley school and we weren't connected very well. I wasn't a good fit for that school. I did my first master's actually online, which is a pretty popular teacher idea um, to get your credits in an online university. And none of that connected with me the way Lehigh has. Uh, the professors are excellent. I've really grown professionally with the other people I was able to work with. And that's why coming to Lehigh and the College of Ed every day is really exciting for me. Tonight's class is the internship-based class. So I get to work with other professionals that are going through the same thing. We get to talk about interviewing, discipline, teacher roles, special education, just really an outlet for everything that goes on in our jobs every day, especially during the process of the internship. So it's a great place to grow, to learn about the new things that are happening in education, about policy suggestions from really the experts in the field. Dr. Martin, my class is amazing. And to be honest, it's quite wonderful to see women in leadership that are just so excellent at mentoring and providing guidance. Thanks for spending the day with me today, for seeing what it's like to be a teacher and an administrator, um, working in nonprofit, all those pieces together, a mom uh, and a student at Lehigh. It's really been a pleasure. Have a great day.